deep is the punctuation of tumbling. Ask a drum to expectorate. Hammering has made me as stupid as a reflex. Dust is the gray matter I am left with. Blockages of breath, the debris of honking, make radios almost pastoral. Leaps to connect minutes like voices calling out to each other across mounds of shoveled noise. They stutter and fall short into rubble. Trembling, muted by syllables, spaces drilled into what is opened out of rubbish. My father rolls across the sky, a knife opening the mountains, a river that stretches to their meeting. Many things I have lived through I no longer remember. Where are those moments? I feel the muddy current churning, the surge that rain brings like memory, and yet the hurled particles move too fast and are too small to be gathered. And the only circles seen are traced by hawks and vultures on the rising heat. As I draw lines of sight to each mountain top, and my father spreads out over the land. Hill, whether there was howling. The yellow lights came down the road in the darkness, in each of our hands. A tree, its hymnal leaves opening, its tea and dirt where the falling steps under the blue canopy muddled. Night and again falling steps, the great gathering of lights, and the running figure pulling bullets from them, hoarding them in his empty trunk, holding them like seeds in the wet flesh of fruit. The light has fallen from my hand, my palms are up in the air, and the breeze in the dark has fountained the hope that I am lost. My comrades have passed from me and become the moths upon the fabric, making holes in it for days to pass through each death. I would claim the cold. I would claim some reverence for the bullets like minnows in the night air. If only they had made a banquet of voices from their feast of light. In the silence I walked toward them. I thought of their empty houses as trees that had grown impractical branches. 